You hatch from an egg deep underground in a nest of over 500 ants. Only a few look like you, the rest are slaves. They don't share your scent or appearance, but they feed and raise you as one of their own. Your larval body is soft and weak. You cannot move or eat on your own. A worker comes holding chewed up food and feeds you mouth to mouth again and again over weeks. The others constantly circle, grooming your body, adjusting your cell walls and defending the chamber entrance. You grow quickly. Your skin stretches and splits as you break free from the shell. Crawling out, you stand for the first time, a fully grown slaver and surrounded by workers. One walks past and feeds you again. You wouldn't survive without them because your kind lacks basic skills like finding food or raising young, but you do know how to kill. Days later, a worker rushes through tunnels to the central chamber, signaling the start of action. You follow instinctively, moving out across the forest floor. The group approaches an unfamiliar formica nest. The lead worker releases pheromones, guiding you through the forest as the others form a tight column behind her. At the nest entrance, you dig and widen the opening, clearing debris for your comrades. Once open, the colony floods inside. You push forward through narrow corridors, stepping over panicked workers. Some try to fight back. One sprays acid that stings but doesn't slow you. You continue ahead until you reach the nursery chamber filled with larvae and pupae. Back at your nest, the stolen pupae hatch. They look and move like formica ants, but carry your colony's scent. They clean chambers, feed you, patrol tunnels, and guard the queen, unaware they were stolen. One morning, a group follows a trail back to the original nest, now smaller and weaker. You tear open the entrance and face the defenders. The slaves break ranks, attacking their former sisters. The tunnel becomes chaos. Bodies collapse as you push deeper. You find the Formica Queen trying to escape. Two slaves latch onto her and kill her. The nest falls silent. Later, the Slaver Queen enters another rival nest during battle, kills the resident queen, and smears her scent to claim the colony. The workers accept her, making the nest theirs. Weeks pass and the air changes as males hatch. They crawl out, weaker than you, and leave the nest in search of queens. Most die alone, their lives brief and unnoticed. An attack comes, not from outside enemies, but a rival slaver species. You fight fiercely but suffer injuries as your colony collapses from within. Slaves turn on you and your shell splits. The last thing you see is your colony falling apart, not from outside enemies, but betrayal inside. 